Hello and welcome to the Captain's Call. My name's Zach Milbank and joining me is Port Adelaide Magpie skipper Stevie Summerton. And Steve, you must be really excited about playing in your first grand final. Yeah, mate, obviously can't wait. Um, massive honour to, to lead you know, the most successful club into, into their first grand final under, under the new structure. So, yeah, mate, something I'm, I can't wait to, to get out there on Sunday. You talk about it being the most successful club. Obviously, there's a, a lot that goes on behind the scenes in leading this proud footy club. Uh, you've got a big role to play as skipper, haven't you? Yeah, exactly right. And, and you know, it's been really good for me um, as a person and as a footballer as well. So, look, it's obviously a massive honour to be able to you know, to get the opportunity to do it and, and something, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed doing. could really see that uh, you were determined to get the boys across the line in that prelim final. You certainly stepped up after half-time and put your own imprint on the game. Yeah, look, um, a lot of us sort of had a, had a pretty quiet first half, so, you know, a lot of us were really keen to come out after, uh, after half-time and really put our stamp on the game and, and, yeah, I think a few of us really did that. First uh, grand final appearance since 1999, so it's been a long wait for Maggie fans, hasn't it? Yeah, for sure. It's been it's been a long time between drinks. Um, you know, the Magpies of old were win, winning premierships almost every year, mate. So, mm. so you know, I'm sure the fans out there are really looking forward to it on the weekend. And you know, we obviously haven't played in a final since 08 as well. Mm. So, so it's something that that we're really keen to do. Your opponents Nord, the arch rival. I guess there's uh, no one better to go up against. Yeah, exactly right. Um, you know, if we if we do happen to get the win, it'd be no sweeter victory than to to beat the old rivalries, mate. So, and and I think it's really set up for a massive game. Um, you know, something that the fans will really enjoy. Yeah, obviously their finals experience is going to be something that's uh, going to be tough for you to counter. But uh, how do you sort of try and curb that uh, influence, I guess, from the Red Legs? Uh, I don't think we're going to think about that too much. Um, we're obviously a pretty inexperienced team when it comes mm -hmm. to playing finals, but look, we're just going to concentrate on, on what we have to do mm -hmm. and the job ahead, so we'll just leave it at that. Hopeful that uh, Big Angus Bruggerman will be all right to resume in the ruck and also perhaps uh, Johnny Butcher and uh, Robbie Young come in as well. Yeah, look, we got a few blokes that are sort of around the mark. Um, Brugger's got a bit of a stinger on his shoulder on the weekend, but um, I think he'll be right to go. Mm -hmm. And obviously Butch... Um, yeah, he'll have to prove his fitness this week to, to get back into the team and Robbie Young should be right to go as well so it's going to be hot for spots Yeah, plenty of options at the selection table uh, just finally Steve before I let you go I know you've been a proud magpie man for all of your life uh, told me some great stories about your childhood days growing up at Alberton and watching the pies uh, as a family what would it mean for you I guess uh, to win the premiership and to your family for that matter Oh, it'd mean the world to me and and the family, obviously. Um, you know, growing up as a young boy, there's you know there's nothing I'd I'd want to do more than that. Um, to to captain the club uh, to to first premiership since '99 would just it'd mean everything to me. I'd, you know, I'd I'd be a very very happy man. <laughs> Indeed, Steve. Well, all the best in your goal on Sunday at 2:40 p.m. against the arch rivals, the Redlegs. Uh, we wish you all the best and thank you for your time once again. No worries. Cheers, Zach.